Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Uh, today we'll be evaluating this integral using uh, classic Feynman integration. So the first step is to reparameterize that integral. Uh, and this is what we'll reparameterize it as. You can see all I did was introduce the t right here. All right, so now we have a function of t expressed as an integral. And we will note that if we evaluate that at zero, we get zero. Meaning if we plug in zero for t, we'll get zero out of this integral because you can see e to the negative zero, e to the zero is one, minus one is zero. And if we evaluate our f of t at t is equal to one, we recover our original integral. So if we can find a closed form expression for f of t, all we do is plug in one for it and we have the value of our original integral. Next, we use the Leibniz rule for differentiation under the integral sign, which says that we can take the derivative with respect to t of this function of t directly by simply taking the partial with respect to t of the integrand and leaving the rest alone. And if you take the partial with respect to t of this function right here, this is what you get. All right, next, We'll notice that if we evaluate our f prime of t at 0, we get negative pi over 2. This, this negative e to the negative tx at t is equal to 0 will drop, will drop out. That will just become a 1. So we'd just be left with negative integral 0 to infinity of sine x over x dx, which we all know converges to pi over 2. So f prime at 0 is negative pi over 2. Next, we take another derivative uh, using the Leibniz rule for differentiation under the integral sign. You know, the same way we did before, we just take the partial with respect to t of this integrand. And this is what you get. Now, this integral evaluates to 1 over t squared plus 1. I'm not going to show the work involved in that. That's what's known as a Phoenix integral, um, meaning you integrate by parts uh, two times, and you'll recover a constant multiple of this integral. Um, and then what you do is just solve for the value of that integral. Uh, go ahead and try it out for yourselves if you want a little bit of practice with that, but it can, it, it, the value of this integral is one over t squared plus one. All right, so finally we have a closed form expression for f double prime of t. So we need to integrate that twice to get back to f of t. So let's do it once. f prime of t is equal to the integral of 1 over t squared plus 1 dt. And that's equal to arctangent t plus c. All right. Now, remember that f prime of 0 is equal to negative pi over 2. So that means that negative pi over 2 is equal to arctangent 0, which is 0. So we have negative pi over 2 equals 0 plus c. c is equal to negative pi over 2. All right, so we plug in c is equal to negative pi over 2, and we have f prime of t is equal to arctangent t minus pi over 2. All right, integrating one more time, and we have our f of t. So f of t is equal to the integral of that thing, and that equals this. I'm not going to show that. Um, you can take the antiderivative of arctangent t, and obviously you can take the antiderivative of negative pi over 2 with respect to t. I won't be showing the work because, again, you can, uh, you can solve that using common, you know, normal techniques learned in calculus. Okay, and then we have the constant of integration. And then remember, if we evaluate f at 0, we get 0. So 0 is equal to negative natural log 0 squared plus 1. That's going to become a natural log 1, which of course is 0, plus 0 times arctangent 0. That's going to be 0, minus pi times 0 over 2, that's 0. So c is in this case is 0. Plugging c is equal to 0 into f of t, and we finally have our closed form expression. So f of t is equal to this. And don't forget, if we evaluate this closed form expression for f of t at the point t is equal to 1, we have our answer. So i which is equal to this integral that we started with, which is also equal to f of 1, that's this thing evaluated at 1, we get negative natural log 2 over 2 
minus pi over 4. So that's it, guys. That's the answer to that integral. Um, I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.